Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, yeah, so this is the uh, information security certification. We're moving on to set a content security part policy with helmet content security policy. Um, as always, with all of these videos, the first videos were really important for deploying the application to render and getting it all working. Uh, the challenge highlights <clears throat> this challenge highlights one promising new defense that can significantly reduce the risk of impact of many types of attacks in a modern browser. By setting and configuring a content security policy, you can prevent the injection of anything unintended into your page. This will protect your app from cross-site vulnerabilities or XSS, uh, undesired tracking, malicious frames, and much more. <clears throat> CSP, content security policy, works by defining an allowed list of content sources which are trusted. You can configure them for each kind of resource a web page may need. Scripts, style sheets, style sheets, fonts, frames, media, and so on. There are multiple directives available so a website owner can have a granular control. See HTML5 rocks key CDN for more de details. Unfortunately, CSP is unsupported by older browser. Uh, by default, directives are wide open, so it's important to set the default source directive as a fallback. Helmet supports both default source and default source naming style. The fallback applies for most of the unspecified directives. In this exercise, use Helmet content security policy and configure it by adding a directives object. And in the object, set the default source to self. The list of allowed sources must be in an array. And in order to trust only your website address by default, also set the script source, script SRC uh, directive, so that you can only allow scripts to be downloaded from your website, from self, and from the domain trusted-cdn.com. Hint, in the self keyword, the single quotes are part of the keyword itself, so it needs to be enclosed in double quotes to be working. Oh, wow. Interesting. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to split this apart, and we can just follow these instructions directly. Um, so app.use, helmet.content, security policy, and then within here, adding a directives object. It's constant in resolution, next, void. Uh-huh, okay. In the object, set the default source to self and apparently it's important to have that um, also set the script source uh, so that you only allow scripts to be downloaded from your website and from the domain trusted there. So I'm thinking this is probably going to be an array similar to the thing above from your website self. And then trusted CDN. And I just want to say I'm just like totally learning this. So I'm just guessing that this is what the instructions say. I have no idea whether this is accurate or not. Um, okay, so do we have a server running? We don't, so we can do npm start. All right. CSP must have at least one directive under directives key. CSP, adding directives object. So. I would expect a comma. How much context security is blast? Okay, so let's look it up. It's a security feature that helps blah 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 by XXS. Uh, helmet, oh, okay, helmet app express. Got it. Helmet dot use. Helmet dot security content policy. 
directives. Ah. And this should be within an object. Okay. Seems that that fixed it. Default source, self, blah, blah, blah. Interesting. I want dot use. Should we follow chat GPT's syntax highlighting? Is that right? Huh. It likes to do it like that. Hold on. Be like that. Okay, so now we can do npm start. Looks like it worked. Um, okay, back to the localhost. We can refresh the page here. Uh, blocked. Interesting. Content security policy source. So yeah, if we were to erase this and then restart the server, I don't think that when we refresh this page, we're not going to see content security policy. All right, it's not there. Oh, content type, nope. Okay, so, seems like we've got it right. NPM, oh, sorry, I wanna uncomment this stuff. And I save it, and then stop the server, restart the server, and then refresh here. And if we come here, we see our content security policy. Okay, cool. Um, so how about passing the test? What we need to do is deploy it. It's not been deployed. Um, if we were to take our um, deployed application and try to use it to pass the test right now, it would not pass. It says your CSP config is not correct. It should be self and this. Okay, no problem. We know what's going on. So get uh, status. We see that it's this file that has been altered. And we've added app.use, this guy. Oop, I can just keep pressing enter to show that that's how we've got. Com uh, shift colon Q gets us out of that um, command line interface uh, instance. And so now we can go git add, uh, git commit, shim. And then here we can just say add a simple con C, a content security policy and we can go with git push and that's going to push it up okay okay so in this exercise configure by adding directives object trust only the website your website address by default huh. so what's the what's the value of a content having a content security policy i'm just going to ask gpt uh, helps protect web applications from various attacks, including CXSS and, and data injections. The value of having can be summarized as follows. One, preventing cross-site scripting attacks. XSS attacks are one of the most common types of web attacks that can result in the theft of sensitive information, unauthorized access to user accounts, and other types of malicious activities. CSP can help prevent XSS attacks by restricting the source from which a web page can load scripts, which can significantly reduce the risk of executing malicious code on the client side. Mitigating data injection attacks, data injections are other common types of web attacks that can lead to disclosure of sensitive information, denial of service, or the execution of unauthorized actions on the server side. CSP can help prevent data injection attacks by restricting the source of from which a web page can load external resources which can reduce the risk of malicious code executing on the server side enhancing website security by restricting the source from which a web page can load resources csp can help enhance the security of a web application and reduce the risk of unauthorized access to the user information the user data or server side resources csp uh, content security policy can also help prevent attacks with <clears throat> that exploit vulnerabilities in third-party libraries or plugins. Ensuring compliance, CSP is a security standard that is recommended by industry experts 
and organizations such as the Open Web Application Security Project, OWASP. Implementing CSP can ensure compliance with security best practices and regulations such as General Data Protection Regulations, GDPR, I think that's the European one, right? And the Payment Card PCI, okay, yeah. Card Industry Data Security Standard. In summary, implementing a content security policy can help enhance the security of a web application. Let's do something fun. Let's see if New York Times has this stuff. So if we go to the network, uh, refresh the page, and wait, oh, shoot. Response header, here we go. X cache hits, X frame, deny. Okay, so you know, um, click jacking here, or looks like they got that. Served by X timer, do do do, very set cookies. But they don't have a lot of this stuff. They don't seem to have a con a cross site. Uh, a, a C whoa. Uh, content security policy. Cache control. Max age of zero. They don't like caching. They want that thing to be updated. SSO fetch. Sec fetch destination. Yeah. So this is the cool thing about this um, portion of the free code camp. Um, it gives you sort of an insight into like. A different way to look at the internet. Deploy succeeded. Okay. So we came over here and we know initially our content secure policy did not work. But now that we tried it as the deployment was there, it succeeded. Okay. So we're good to go. Um, moving on. Thanks for watching. See you next video.